Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. With today being the launch date for the new iPhone and Samsung celebrating their successes of their newly launched Galaxy S3, have you given any thought to what's happening to Research in Motion, the venerable maker of BlackBerry? Well, things look like they've pretty much fallen apart. In the States, firms who monitor retail sales say that BlackBerry sales are largely unchanged in August versus July. However, there have been a meaningful lowering of inventory levels versus a month ago, which means that retailers are content with fewer BlackBerrys since they may not sell many of them. In fact, research shows that a meaningful number have not sold a single BlackBerry in over a month. It's no secret that Rim is in trouble. The company reported a dismal fiscal first quarter in June, losing a breathtaking $518 million. BlackBerry smartphone shipments hit just 7.8 million units during the period, down 41% compared to the year prior. The problem for RIM is that the company needs help from retailers in order to turn things around. The mobile firm, like many other handset vendor, relies on companies like Verizon Wireless, AT&T, Sprint, Rogers, Telus, and Bell to promote its products and drive customers to them. If the reports are true, however, it doesn't appear that carriers are playing nice. But why should they? RIM's BlackBerry devices are obviously having trouble appealing to consumers, and carriers have a responsibility to their own shareholders to sell as many products as possible. In keeping with that responsibility, they have no choice but to promote the iPhone and Samsung's Galaxy line and ignore BlackBerry. Still, RIM isn't quite ready to call it quits yet. The company has said time and time again that BlackBerry 10, the mobile operating system it plans to launch in the first quarter of next year, will help it revitalize its business. But with all the successes from Apple and Samsung, it might be a very difficult market for RIM to reestablish in. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard.